we travel to a rural farming village to find a timbered frame cottage. We are greeted by a vast collection of curiosities from all over the world. Every room is packed to capacity with books, paintings and classical music. Treasures collected by a couple who loved to travel. They lived here with their two children, but when they moved out, the extensive collection of paintings grew. Crammed between every beam are scenes created by their favourite artist. The decay now threatens to destroy this beautiful home and everything in it. It's like a secret cupboard. Bedroom in there. It's so untouched. That's the nice little bedroom in the house, man. You don't even have to get over a step to get in here. I thought this was going to be a cupboard. So, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the France road trip. And we're currently in the Champagne area of France where they make champagne and all that sort of nice bubbly stuff. But all of this here is just grapes. It's just massive vineyards. And we actually drove past the bigger ones back there, but we didn't have the camera out. But yeah, look at this, it's insane. So I'm not sure if you're allowed to go and have a look at them, but we're gonna go and have a look at these grapes anyway. Jess is waiting in the car, keeping guard of the motorbile. Motorobile, yeah. Booyah. So we're almost there, in the next location. We're about 10 minutes away, so we'll catch up with you all when we get there. So I sneakily picked a grape off of there then. And Jess is gonna try it. Have you had one? Yeah. Have you? Yeah. No, I haven't. How is it? Not very nice. nice. Seed. Oh yeah, be real great seeds. Nice? Yeah. So we're on our way to the abandoned mansion and we're still in the champagne area and it stinks like champagne, like you roll the windows smell down. It, yeah. it smells like we're in a winery right now. Everybody's harvesting, it's harvest yeah. time, isn't it? It's oh, harvest coming season on, out here. Coming in hot. Yeah. It's so nice here. And what we noticed was people have like a mural of their champagne business their and, champagne and business. they're like in the middle of it on all the walls of, of the different, what would you call it? Farms? I guess farms, yeah. Yeah. This is so, look, look this, out the window. Everybody is harvesting. It smells so good. And a lot of people as well, we've noticed there's actually gravestones next to the to the vineyards. Yeah. Where the, obviously the original owners got buried next to them, which is pretty cool. It's really nice. Yeah, I like that. So we're hidden away in the woods again. Super overgrown out there. You can hardly even see this place. It's a tiny little cottage. But yeah, this is the room you come straight into. Proper French farmhouse. Frozen in time. I think this could be one of the most frozen in time places in France we've been to, you know? Yeah. Like, nothing's, literally nothing's, nothing's changed. Nothing's been vandalised or moved. Look at this mould though. It's so bad with black mould. Let's have a look around. Everything's dark wood in here too. It's like a little Hansel and Gretel cottage, isn't it? It's dark in here though, isn't it's it? It's really dark. Yeah. Big snowy painting, even signed as well. Look at the layers of it. It's really nice. Makes me want to be in the snow. Makes me want to be a painter. <laughs> Sam Ross. <laughs> wow. It's 
really well done, that is. What bird even is that? Is it pheasant? It's going to be a Drop it down in the comments, guys, if you know what bird that is. Wow. Pipes. And crockery left as well. Yeah, still set. Go on this side. Lots of wet wipes. It's oh, weird, isn't it? Don't know how they were cleaning. <laughs> no. Look at that, they would have got that on their travels around mm -hmm. the world. It's really nice. Tea, lots of tea. I think maybe an elder, I'm getting the thought of an elderly person on their own living here, I think. More cups and booze still left. We're in such a small little town here, aren't we? I yeah. feel like I can't make any noise, but to be honest, we're so far away. Oh. Wow, that's the biggest nest quick I've ever seen. I wonder if anything would have a date on it. Those cornflakes should. It doesn't last a while, this thing. Is it on the top here? Yeah. 2016. Yeah, seems about right, doesn't it? Yeah. It's just looking out this window. Six, seven years it's been abandoned. Look, it looks like there's some sort of basement out there. Really? In, this is a oh, greenhouse. Yeah, it's a you can't focus, but there's the biggest spider web out there. <sighs> yeah, it goes down. Cool. Wouldn't expect a small place like this to have a basement. No. Let's finish this room. Yeah, look at the walls and it only gets worse. The dump is getting in terrible. Look at that. It looks like it should be the wallpaper. Yeah, I've never seen, I don't think I've ever seen it quite that bad. On the river. Is that a photo? Yeah, that looks like here. Maybe that was him. Yeah. The owner of the house. That's how beautiful this area is right now. Look at this. It's a mouldy boy. All the ornaments. It's a really see. nice bit. I love the roof in here. Look, that's the painting of the house. Ah, yeah. But we can't even see that. So yeah. Right now, but that's how it looked. Oh man, what a shame. It, it's surrounded now. What are all of these? So they're made out of shells into like cups. Maybe. Yeah, it's got loads. Papers. And when this paper's called. Two thousand and eight. Two thousand and eight. Look at this, it's actually like a little chair. Yeah. It's like a little shrine. So look, this is Australian artwork. That's actually hand painted oh, yeah, as right. well. So maybe they went to Australia as well. Yeah, he's got lots of like wood, and that bowl over there looked Australian yeah. too. Ooh, zombie spider. Oh man. Oh, that is so bad. I've never seen it like that before. Oh, that can't be good. No. Where do we go first? There's a few we... directions to take. Should we do this back end first? Yeah. Go into this, this one. Where do we go first? Sometimes I feel like I'll keep my voice down in here. I know, it's really, weird. Really, probably don't have to though. Wow. Oh, the bedroom. Wow. The bed and matches the wallpaper. Oh yeah. Wall of books. See, you wouldn't even think the rest of the house was so mouldy in here. Look. This is all CDs and DVDs. No way. Mozart. What collection? 
Pizza machine. Should have a look at some of these and see what they're listening to or watch. Electro. Classical, if it's all mostly. classical music, yeah. Yeah, I think it was an elderly gentleman by the looks of things. And his wife would have been here as well. Look at this, 1966, 1951. It's like different things, different cutouts. <laughs> There's probably a picture of his wife. Oh, uh, yeah. Next to the bed. It's lovely in here. Mm hmm. Should be looking at some of these wardrobes. Blankets. Mm, bedding and towels. That's all his clothes in there, isn't it? Yeah. Denim man. Sweet little room. Curiosities. I'd love to have a house like this. What's there? It's like a sewing kit. Yeah, it's one. It careful. It's uh, it's one of those ones that pops out huge. Everything inside. Head back into the main room. We should do the left hand side. Do that room first. It's just a cupboard. Uh, oh, it's like a chimney or something. Yeah. Oh my god. The office. <sighs> so much stuff. How beautiful is that? <sighs> a lovely little room. This is a real little country cottage, isn't it? It's phenomenal, man. I've never seen a place frozen in time so much. So many books. It looks like the TV used to be there, connected to the. Oh look, TV there at some a different TV here. Yeah. Got all these things he had set up: music, DVDs, videos. Yeah, he would have needed it for all these DVDs and CDs, man. Lovely dish. Wow, he collected so many books. Look, he loved. Look, these are Indian sacred. Oh no. I don't know what Kantatas is. It's in English though. Batch. I think that's classical music. Different, yeah, different types of music. The chamber music. Yeah, look, a lot of this is about classical music and... He's an enthusiast. Yeah. Huh. Didn't have any instruments of his own so far, anyway. No, I noticed that more. What a nice place to just sit and relax in here. Another wardrobe. Preserved food. Is that? Oh, it's black. Yeah, I wonder what that is. It looks like jam. It's so funny, isn't it? Everybody used to keep food in the cupboards. I think I've seen everything in the number of walls in the cupboard. Oh, that's true. These books are really nice. It's a little headlamp. Look all the ink. It's jam. Oh, it's jam, yeah, what? <laughs> you like the jam? Wow. Look, no, there's the TV. Oh, yeah. What beautiful little office. Mm hmm. You can, you can imagine just sat here, just relaxing, reading a book. I think this is probably what you used to do, just sit right here. Mm hmm. Wife and kids. There's two kids up there. Oh.
some of the paintings he's got in here. That's really nice. Like a birch wood. It's nice when you walk actually in to this room. Yeah, it is. It's like... Straight away you're surrounded by artwork. It's the beach. Countryside. These are all like dream scenes, aren't yeah. they? Just the perfect scene. Hey, what I've noticed is they're all signed by the same person. Ah, oh, maybe it was him or his wife. Yeah, look, and again. This looks very much it like does. what we've just driven through as well. I reckon it was his wife, you know. Let's have a look at some more. Yeah, to have so many, it must be a family member, someone or close. A friend, yeah. Yeah, look, they're all, it's all the same person. I really like it, the style. More woods. This one's a little bit different. Is there any more? It's all of them. It's so many CDs, they were just piling up on the seat. And same with the DVDs, like, how would you watch? I guess throughout your life, yeah, you just keep watching them. That's the thing with DVDs and CDs, you don't get rid of them, do you? After you've seen them. Another time. Quarter two was the last time. Yeah. <gasps> Crazy. Let's go and have another look around the living room. I should see if these are painted by the yeah, they are. That is so nice. Let me shut this door. Painted by no well. way. Yeah. This is somebody's. This is hours of work. Maybe it could have even been their daughter or something. Yeah. yeah. Kids. They're all amazing too. I hope they didn't get ruined in here. Are they watercolors? I think it might be with watercolor. Yeah, it is. Look, the mould is creeping up onto this one. It's horrible for mm. that all of them will be that dark. <sighs> wow, look at it out there. Yeah, we got that. That's green. Where do we go next? Let's go into the kitchen. Look at a few more of these. Yeah, literally every single one, Mum. Mm-hmm. Insane. Oh no, this one's been completely lost to mould. Should we go in here? Yeah. It's the kitchen. It's honestly. I wonder if it would be worse in here. A tiny little kitchen. You can tell that they were a hoarder in the, in the end of their life, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, look at all of this stuff. So much food. Look at the cobweb. It's can you get, can you see that on here? It's literally half the room. Oh, imagine if you walk straight into that. It stinks like a like a elderly home. It does. It's like, like a care home. the food's gone off and it smells like the wee from the toilet. Hey look, we need one of these. Uh, Foil, yeah. cling film. That's a really good idea. What did I miss behind the us? The bathroom. Oh, this is where the smell's coming from. And there's more food in here. Look, you obviously never used the sink or anything. Wow, it goes actually. back really far. Oh, this is the shower. See, like, it must have not even been washing. Nope. There's the toilet back there. I'm not going to go any further. Food everywhere. So what you got to realise sometimes is when you're seeing stuff like this, it's not actually doing wrong. Sometimes it's vandalism and trashed. But this is how a lot of people were living. Mm -hmm. We even watched programmes on YouTube. There's loads of... They go in the houses when they're living just like this, mm -hmm. even more mould sometimes. Yeah. It's really sad for to think that so many people were living like this mm -hmm. out there. So I think we'll go and do the rest of the house. Before we do the basement. Yeah, yeah do the conservatory and the basement. Like the hanging lanterns and stuff. Really nice. 
really like this place. Yeah, me too. Spiders are taking over. You missed a cabinet by the front door as well, we didn't look in. Oh, yeah. It's like a different smell in every room. Preserves. Yeah, loads of jam. Absolutely. Look, raspberry it's like the raspberry vodka. Yeah, you must have, like, you may be making jam. Maybe. What's this? St. Louis sugar. Sugar, yeah. <laughs> I think it's it was a posh sugar. It's got posh sugar now, and he's got this. Now. Yeah. Look, done by them as well. These are so nice. Is this time to head upstairs? I think so, through the tunnel of doom. I really have never seen anything like this. Maybe why he moved out. Dump getting in there, right, yeah. Good god. Oh, look how nice it used to be, too. You can see it's like Indian now. Yeah, it's Asian inspired. Maybe. All of this is. Done by a few people. They're not lingering here too long. Oof. Wow, look at this. It's like a real log cabin. Boy, it smells up here, too. More jars. And a half. Then look, loads more. Oh my God, it's yeah, look, they're just storing them up there. Oh, look Maybe at it this. was the wife. <gasps> Maybe it was him. Like we're just assuming it was the woman. Look at this room. It's like the perfect little house. We'll start at the back end here. Look, the, the paintings even go all the way back here. Yeah. I think they're of their favourite places because a lot of them look similar. Hey, look, that's the name Auguste, Auguste Allonge. Mm. Is that what was on them downstairs? Yeah, look, oh, yeah, it is, yeah. It's their second name. That's a pretty fancy frame. I've got a bundle of cobwebs in my hair, so I'm moving out of this little corner. <laughs> There's artwork everywhere. Like the best ones are up here, you know. Yeah, true. There's a lot of big ones up here too. Mm -hmm. Type row. There's a little bar from here with the mass of cobwebs. Oh, I am scared to even go in. It's a nice little bar from here. This has not been used in so long. Look at it all. It's like shelves of cobwebs. Look at this. The whole thing is cobwebs. Looks like something fell through it there. Oh man. Tiny little bathroom. It's just dissolving. I love the shape of it in here. I think this is my favourite room of the house, actually. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. I've never seen marble like that before. Oh, yeah. It's like coral stems. This is nice. Wow. It's big. No little socks. Oh. So they had two single beds up here, double downstairs. It's like a secret Oh, book. look, do you think that was his parents? Yeah, I reckon so. That's so old. How nice that you can still see it now. These are old dolls. Yeah, these are all different, aren't they? And this? 
I made. Like he's made out of like brackets and like random bits of metal and yeah. that still moves and still works a little bit. <laughs> Beautiful view out into the woods. There's so much to look at in there, it's hard to take it all in. There is, there's so many books. Look at that for a coral skeleton. Oh. That's from Australia, I bet. It's really nice. Look this wallpaper, too. Look at these books. It's like they got wet, they hung them to dry. Oh. Uh. <laughs> To be honest with you, it's not overly damp up here. No, how weird. So that stairway is the worst part. This is the house of paintings. Yeah. This is some of the nicest paintings we've found. Nicest collection. Look, there they are downstairs. Ah, The grandkid. Who lived here then? Mm -hmm. Maybe this was for the kids back in the day. Maybe, uh, before yeah. Before they definitely. moved. See if we can get over this bean bag. Some more family photos. Let me pass you this. All the pillows are there. Winter sweaters. What's in here then? It's like a secret cupboard. Oh my gosh. What the hell? <gasps> what? A hidden bedroom at the end. A whole other bedroom in there. It's so untouched. That's the nicest bedroom in the house, man. Look, we even have to get over a step to get in here. I thought this was going to be a cupboard. Oh, anything? oh your hair's up. Oh no. <laughs> mm. Yeah, you got to watch out for that. It smells Is that strange. their, that's their shed? That's their shed, that's their garage for the cars. Look how big it is. There's no cars in there, no. This, this is, is cool beautiful. as hell, man. Yeah. yeah. Bed, bed in. Look at this as well. Even had a TV. <coughs> Some of the nicest paintings. Imagine being such a good artist like that, that you fill your own house with paintings. This is really nice. Ah, oh, and looking back, let's see your view from in bed. I love this. I would love a ranch, cottage sort of thing like this. All the clothes are left as well. Oh. What? What? It goes into a back room, into the storage. No way, here you go. I can't get past. It's like loft. I can't even get in because of the cobwebs, but... Ew, Ugh, it cool. stinks. What is that? Oh my god, that is shit. You're joking. Nah, mate. That was like a serious amount of bird poo. What? Do you think some of them was living in there? I think someone's probably still living in there, man. I thought it smelled in here, stronger. Mate, that was like that thick off the floor. Mate, when I zoomed in on it with my eyes, it was like actual logs. Oh my, that's the cupboard no, of poo. No, no, the poo cupboard. Open it again. Nah, mate, it stinks. <laughs> <laughs> Open it again. I can't believe it. You're going to have to come and look for yourself once I'm not in this room anymore. Come on, I, I ain't opening that door while I'm in there, mate. I'm going to show you these before Jess shows you the poo again. But yeah, all the, uh, all the clothes are left. Woman's clothes in here. This is a woman's room. So you want to you want to have a look at that poo, do you? I want to look in there. I can't believe it's like that. I can't believe this. I can't believe that. It's messed up, that isn't it? Zoom in on it. 
What the hell happened? It's like a ton of birds were living in here for ages. And couldn't get out. That smells probably really bad for me. Ugh. It's bad, that isn't it? That is really, really, really bad. bad. Now it reeks in here. Yeah, it stinks in here now. It's one of the biggest paintings in the house behind her. I love the autumn ones. It's such a shame no one's getting to enjoy them in here. Sam's just been doing a little bit of research. And, and the guy that painted his paintings wasn't the person that lived here. So Auguste Allange. Born in 1833, Paris. Died in 1898 as a French painter, and illustrator, and engra engraver. So somehow, whoever lived here has got most of his artwork. A lot of his artwork. So maybe it was a family member of his. And they've oh, been passed yeah. down. Yeah, it must be a family member. Which makes it even more terrible that they sat in here. I wonder if we can find a family tree. There's so many. There must be like 50 or more of his paintings in this house. The only way we could get a family tree is if we pay. But when we get back to England, we could do that. And we could work out maybe if this was a late relative. True. You know, or early relative, not sure which <laughs> Him anyway. Wow, that's interesting. A photo of the, the man of the house, the father, the granddad, when he was younger. Do I hold it still a sec? Not that many family photos though. No. Mostly paintings. I wonder how he ended up with all of that person's artwork. Mm-hmm. I reckon they must have been passed down. Inherited. Or maybe he was rich and just bought them all. Oh yeah, hold on, hold on. Look at this. Art Amnesia Auctions. Oh yeah. I didn't notice a few of those. He's a collector. So he's just... He's maybe he bought them all in a bulk lot. Yeah, maybe, because if you notice, that's the only one with the with auction sticker on it. I that and, and on that one. Oh, uh, yeah. I think that's the only ones that's that... That's from a different auction, though. Maybe he was collecting all of his artwork. Yeah, he obviously loved his artwork and collected it. I can see why, but what a collection. He hoarded it. It's like we constantly crouch down in this house. I know. Walking around like that. <laughs> One last look at this beautiful room. So cosy in there. Yeah, I love it with the timbers, man. Dun dun dun! So weird, isn't it? How this bit got so bad. Mm. Oh. Oh, it smells so different down here. Yeah, this way. Oh, yeah. Cobwebs, the whole roof in this place. You can't really even see it on the camera, but it's completely thick with cobwebs the whole and spiders. The basement is covered in cobwebs. Really? Oh, damn, I wonder if you can get that. Look, Foster's hat. You think we got that in Australia? Yeah. Well? Oh, man. I reckon this used to be open, you know. 
And then they've put these in. Put, yeah, it would have been different, yeah, sure. Oh my gosh. I'm not sure about this, you know. Let's go and have a look. It's so mouldy, it's unbelievable. Yes, the wine cellar, Mum. You have to do it. Mm hmm. This is hot. Oh my god, mate, they're all in the back of the stairs and shit. Oh, this is really slimy, by the way. Is it mould? Uh, yeah. Wet mould, yeah. Oh, there's, there's been slugs everywhere. Oh my god. Quick, man. Mm -hmm. It's like a thousand fucking spiders down there. I can't. Oh, help. Oh my gosh. So many spiders everywhere. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm even down here. No, this is it. I thought we kept going. That's it? What a weird little basement. Wine cellar. Oh, that was horrible getting through that part. Yeah, it was. Look at them. The vines in here. Oof, oh, look at all the spiders. Yeah, it's too damp down here. They get that infestation there. It's like a cave. Look at this. Yeah, that's weird, isn't it? It's like it went on. I don't know. It's a natural rock wall. This is a cool basement. Wow, let's get the hell out of it. Yeah. <laughs> There's zombie spiders everywhere. If you're wondering why we're calling them zombie spiders, that is what they're actually called. Type it in on the internet. Mm -hmm. They get like this weird fungal infection. They die and they live like that, like those white spiders for a short period of time yeah. and then die again. Look, that's probably the biggest one I've ever seen. Oh, damn, she yeah, like? it is. Look at that, that's like a big one it's happened to. Imagine one of them when they were alive crawling at you. No. Let's Oh man. Yeah, this is horrible. Let's get out. It's really awkward to actually escape. Oh my god. Oh my god, I nearly fell back in. That was a horrible basement. <sighs> Here we are on the outside. Just look at it. It's so nice. This is the once garden. See rose hips and blackberries. Mm, lovely. Should we look? The shed is as big as the house. It's not bigger. <laughs> you can see him. Into the office. Oh, where's that big spider? I think this is the one I open. Oh no, it's the other one. There's a huge spider behind that shutter. Oh no, it's well over there. Oh, look at it in there. Such a perfect little house. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's that bag. You got it. I don't know if you can see in there, I can hardly see. Does it work? There's like machines for woodwork and stuff. Plants. Oh, it's hot. It is hot out here. Yeah, it's just boring, isn't it? Did you see the woodwork machines? Yeah, I've seen it. Look at this. Buried. So that is the end of this video. I think we worked out the story pretty much. Yeah. There's like um, two older, elder people lived here first of all. 
you know, their kids. Mm-hmm. How many kids? One, two, three, four children. Still got a bit there. of a mystery about these paintings. The paintings, though. yeah, because so weird. Maybe he's just a collector. He's a you collector of paintings. You filled the house with them. Oh yeah. The like, artist too, the same artist. The same, every, all the artwork is by the same person. Makes me sad this place because there's so much art, music, books. Yeah, all going. Such a massive collection. Yeah, and with the rate that mold is growing, it's going to ruin it all. But drop your thoughts down in the comments, guys. Thank you again for watching, and we'll catch you next time. So what's going on guys? We've just made a quick pit stop. We thought we'd check this pin out, but it's been destroyed. I think we're a little bit late, aren't we? We're, we're very late to this, but there's some cool stuff in here, so we're gonna show you a few clips. Anyway, this isn't the actual explore, this is just a quick flyby and we'll show you what, what happens on these trips really. Mm-hmm. We've actually made our way to like the back part of the building, so we'll make our way back through, but it's really sad actually. This was an artist's house and there is some of the most amazing artwork I've ever seen in here. And someone's trashed the whole place. There's just, there's all sorts. There's statues. Look at this. Wow. It's all f weird knickknacks. Like, look at the size of this room. All filled with random stuff. I wish I could have seen this I know. in its, it's day. Like one of the best locations I've ever seen. It's a really old building, too, like a barn. Most of the paintings are actually nudist ones. It's getting real dark it looks like a god slaying a demon. Mm -hmm. You might have seen this place in somebody else's explore video, so it would actually be quite interesting for you to see it now. Yeah, look at this place. Is there a point going upstairs, Sam, or will I just be... Apparently all the rooms are filled for upstairs. Every room is filled for Look at this. This has been abandoned for a long, long time. Yeah, so sometimes you just turn up at these places and this is what it's like. And although it's interesting, you can't really make a full video out of them. No, you can. I mean, you could. Who's but that? Yeah, uh, hard work and probably wouldn't be that great. Yeah, no, when they're, they, it's not like this is just, this is totally, totally trashed. Someone, like yeah, some people have just ruined this place. Look at those windows. It's upstairs, it's covered in graffiti as well. Just, oh, no, I will never understand, never. Hey, look, sexy DVDs. You found a lot of porn in abandoned buildings. In France. It's because people's stash has been unleashed. Yeah, it hasn't. <laughs> What's usually it's hidden. The internet, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Which usually hidden under a bed somewhere is a. Uh... I think the only porn back then was DVDs or um. Look! Yeah. Oh. Artwork like that. Look at this. It's like a fossilised. It's like a skeleton of a sponge or something. Wow. It's made into artwork. Oh yeah, on the way out there's something really cool to show you. I must not forget. Um, let's have a quick look in here. Don't you think this was somebody's beautiful home? And somebody's just come in here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to blur this, but there's all kinds of crazy stuff in here. Artwork down there. This guy. More artwork. You can see how old fashioned it would have been, too. It's so sad, isn't it? This is the most trashed house I've ever seen in Europe. It's like, how does it happen, isn't it? It's just come in and just chuck shit everywhere. Look at that as well. It made me sad. It's family, isn't it? Yeah, that he paint. you know, how long someone took to paint that. And now it's just here. No one, no one kept it safe. Let's have a quick look through here. Wow, look at that thing. See, it's usually, if someone was this trashed, I wouldn't, in, be interested in filming it, but shows how interesting it would have been because so curiosity. Yeah, even though it's ruined, it's still interesting. Art. Look at that. That looks like me. Ruined. Yeah, it does look a bit like me. That's my, that's my body. <laughs> <Very much. laughs> yeah. Who could ruin that? God. Mm, let's get out of there. What a shame. I'll show you this little bit of artwork by the door that's... I've never seen anything like it. Whiskey. 
Oh my god, did you flip this over? Yeah. <laughs> That's really cool. Oh, waste. Yeah, this. Look at this. That whole thing is made out of butterfly wings. Even look, e each tuff is mm -hmm. an individual part of a wing. It's pretty freaky, but. It's freaky. <laughs> amazing. This is a real artist's house. What a shame. It's ah. actually despicable. In the end. It's a disgrace. <laughs> look at this guy. Yeah, that looks more like my body, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow, well. yeah, so there's a little taste well, of... it's been abandoned since 2003 if anyone would like to know. 2003? Yeah. That's a very big... It's a big horseshoe. horseshoe. Yeah, like, well, did you guys enjoy seeing this even though it was wrecked? Yeah. Because sometimes we do nice. come across these. Yeah, loads of coin there. We just had another bus too, we had to rip through a ton of brambles. Only to find it was... Well, the only way in was through smashed glass and it was too... Yeah, dangerous. the hole was like this big. We could have done it, but it's not worth the risk. No. So you, can't, you could die doing this stuff, so... Mm-hmm. On to the next one. We are made it. We're in, we're in the city where our Airbnb is. We're just going to explore. There's a couple places we want to see. We just came across this cathedral. It's like the old wall. It looks so old. And there's the cathedral up there. Super gothic again, like the other one we went to. How are you feeling, Jess? It's hot. It's hot, isn't it? It's real hot. So this is where we're trying to get to right now, but it's shut. We're going to see anyway, we're going to have a look on the back and see if we can get in. What a phenomenal castle. It's nice to see, like, chateaus still preserved like this. I'm not sure what the inside's like. The outside is still really well kept. <laughs> 